How did you get your hands on this? Uh, so I get an email from a guy named Kyle and says, can I send you the motor to a um, stinger missile? And I said, I don't even know what that means. He sent me this picture and says it's this thing. And I said, yeah, I need one of those. And uh, here you go. And he followed through. Now is it is legal for us to have this? Um, I don't know. So when Mitchell told me what he had, I started looking a bit more into Stinger missiles. And what a Stinger missile is, is a surface to air homing missile. This is the launch motor. So this is filled with a solid rocket fuel. That right there is the nozzle. It goes in the tube, the Stinger missile goes out here. And when you launch it, this rocket or launch motor as it's called, pushes the Stinger missile out of the tube to a safe enough distance where it doesn't melt your face off when its rocket motor kicks on. That sounds like a good useful part. Another thing that I thought was kind of interesting is the Stinger missile itself only weighs 22 pounds, which is why that tiny thing is big enough to push it out of tube. Say something witty. Tube socks. <laughs> And the Stinger missile, the uh, warhead on it is only 6.6 .6 pounds, so it's about the equivalent of one and a half hand grenades as far as its explosive power, but that is enough to take down a plane. It is our duty to find out what this looks like when it is cleanly cut in half. Or dirtily cut. And, uh, that's cool, we got some pieces. Yeah, that's what I was saying, this thing I think come, came Oh, out. that would match it up with the other pictures that we've seen. And then that somehow goes in, maybe as it burns fuel or something. And so the other pictures of these motors that we've seen, they had kind of like an umbrella thing sticking out the top. And so we thought that maybe this was just a different model, but it looks like that it was just pushed down inside. So maybe just the center is titanium. When we started cutting this, it was sparking a ton, and titanium is the metal that sparks like that on a water jet. So we don't know if the entire thing is titanium or if just the center piece is. Right there on that end, it's got like a rubber pad with a bunch of kind of dimples in it, but that's, that's the inside. I assume that this area all right here is what's filled with the, uh, the rocket fuel. And then these are the nozzles on the bottom where it all comes out. I don't know how that rubber survives that. I don't know, give me answers. I don't know. I wanna know if the rest of this is titanium, so we're gonna touch the shell part to a belt sander, see if it sparks, and that'll give us a pretty good idea. By the looks of this, did you say that's pretty stain free? I don't see any stains. I'm 99% sure that this is stainless steel. Oh yeah, that's stainless, all right. Another fun fact, Stinger missiles use IR and UV sensors to track their targets. See, wasn't that fun? I'm having a great time. So that's that, and now you guys have the answer to the question you never knew about what the interior of a Stinger launch motor Stinger missile launch motor contains. Are we good? Yeah, you can't say the other thing. Okay, I got close. Yeah. Thanks again to Kyle for sending us this cool object and if you have something cool you want us to cut, then hit us up and we'll let you know. What do you want somebody to send us? Well, somebody sent us a bunch of caramels and we ate them already so you can send us some more caramels. <laughs>